Alfie's just going off on a little rant about postage. I'm gonna kill someone. <laughs> Um, good morning, it's Sunday. I actually haven't filmed on a Sunday these past couple of weeks because it's normally the day that I'm working so much it's not worth filming. But today there's a little bit of work and play and it's sunny and I'm in a great mood so I thought I would film. So yesterday, uh, the first draft of Girl Online Going Solo was done! Woo! Yay! So exciting! I still need to do my dedications and acknowledgements, but I always leave those until the end this because. Is full of me. No, I just I find tell. it really hard to think of something new to say and someone new to dedicate it to. Is that weird? I don't know. I've been to Nala. Maybe I should just dedicate it to Nala. Nala. For distracting me and lying on me when I'm trying to write. Do you have. I need to put a new battery in this. It's gonna run out! Come on, Cinderella. Oh. That's not really cleaning it, Alf. You don't you're, do that. You're brushing it into the corner. Look. Now no one sees it. Do you, I do that every day. <laughs> I just hide it there. What's the point? Well, it's gone now. Where not is really. It? But you can't Where's see our it? little Hoover? Look. We can use the little Hoover. Look how pretty these flowers are. Do you appreciate them? Yeah, I appreciate them a lot. Why is the lighting so rubbish? <laughs> there we go. There we go. Alfie, can you explain this, please? That's my fun. Come on, let's go. <laughs> chop, chop. Let's get going. Come do you, on. Do you have no explanation? Don't look here either. Don't you at, all think it's this. me that's messy and leaves things. Don't look at any of this. It's Alfie Days that's messy. Look, I showed my vlog these yesterday. And people think it's me with the shopping addiction. I beg to differ, personally. No, you have a shopping addiction. No, I, I don't. No, what was the last thing I bought? I don't know. Exactly. What was the last thing I bought? Two two-seater kayaks. <laughs> Which everyone needs. I'm just gonna Where get- are you going? I'm getting some socks for my trainers. You can't have trainers on with no socks, you'll get stinky feet. Although, here's a fun fact, I never have stinky feet. Ever. I'm not sure why, maybe that's not normal. Are you gonna put Nala in the pen? Excuse the disco, excuse the disco tech. We are heading to the park because lots of Alfie's family is here that he doesn't really see much. I don't know what relation they are to you. Your grandma's sister's known. children? Yeah, something like that. I don't even know what, like. No, and their kids as well. And their children. So there's just basically there's gonna be a lot of Alfie's family. I get quite nervous for like family events when it's not my family. <laughs> So yeah, we're going down to the park and I believe there's a picnic or something. There might be nothing. Really nice. I have no idea. I don't know. Is Buzz going? We didn't bring Nala. Yeah, we didn't bring Nala because she gets a bit excited in the park and also there's babies there, so I'm not sure. She's never met a small baby. She's met like young when Eduardo, Eduardo was like is the youngest. Tiny. Eduardo's the youngest baby, but even then he was like um. I mean, she's like all ice cream banners. Yeah, really it's proper retro. <gasps> we can get an ice cream. Have you got money on you? No, I have you? Uh -huh. I always leave my handbag at home when we're like popping out to the park. Yeah. yeah don't worry about saying thank you, matey. Don't worry. I won't let you go next time. Oh. Into the jungle we go. It's a little coffee van. A what? A little van that sells like coffees and stuff. Where? Look. Oh yeah. Why, do you want one? Maybe. I've got my braces in though. Oh, probably best not to. I've got charge on because I was running out. I had 1% before leaving the house. Alfie's grabbing a coffee or a water, I don't know. Look at this beautiful spread that Poppy and Amanda have put on. And Sean. And Sean. What did you make? Oh, Sean. Did you wrap it up in paper and tie it? That was me. Was that you? I made it though. Aw, well done. Thank you. <laughs> it's such a nice day. Buzzy! You having a fun day? <laughs> yeah! Buzzy! Hello! Oh, careful of the beer. Careful of the beer, Buzzy. 
Alfie's made friends with the new dog. Have you never tried it before? Well, I just don't think I like beer. <laughs> You're not gonna, it's so fizzy. I'm gonna see if I can do it. Yeah. I know you're gonna hate it. <laughs> it's like yeast. It's like eating yeast. Do you not think? Nice. I'm not a massive fan of this really hot. You never drink. Do you like cider? No. Actually, cider's better than beer. Yeah. Sorry, there's. Go on, is that Chi-Chi? Have you tried these? They're really. Sean's made a friend. It's got mustard on it. He enjoyed that other little. Oh, is he? Okay. <laughs> he likes mustard, <laughs> as you can tell. Sean, he's never going to leave you now. <laughs> you bet, you bet quickly. Oh, die. Aww. You're a funny little dog. Oh, oh, it's the it's finest it. Prosecco yeah. money. Oh, there's a, dog, there's a dog on you, Nick, but I'm not sure whose it is. <laughs> Hello, doggy. I don't think you are. Yeah, he's trying to run away from you. Not with the food. Somewhere. The dogs are taking over. <laughs> He's enjoying it either way. Buzzy, you got some watermelon? <laughs> Finished up at the park. That was really nice getting to meet lots of Alfie's family. And now we're heading back home because I still need to uh, film my video, which is actually going to be going up the day you're watching this. So I don't need to edit it tonight necessarily. I can try and do a little bit, but I'm also going to be meeting up with Nimbobs because she is in Brighton and I really wanted to see her. I was like, oh, what time are you leaving? I need to see you before you go. So we're going to do something, but I'm not sure what we're going to do yet. Might just have a little catch up, but Alfie wants to go to Tesco. What are you doing? Grabbing some dinner? It's not dinner time, is it? No, but it's nice to be prepared. Oh, I was going to. Not everyone that. buys dinner at dinner time. <laughs> Here's my little Tesco haul. Mange to peas. A Tesco haul? <laughs> yeah. McVitie's Orange Clubs. Some Pizza Express dough balls with garlic butter. Some New York uh, Bakery Company bagels. And um, what else have we got? Oh, some Gaviscon. Okay, so it turns out that my eyeliner did not last too well with a watery eye. That's not good. <laughs> oh no. Um, me and Alfie made a den yesterday. <laughs> Look! Uh, um, this is basically where I spent all of yesterday writing and watching movies. But now we have to put it away and it's never as fun taking it down as it is putting it up. I can tell you that much. Oh, it's like sloped. Oh dear. I'm currently sat editing another pile of bookmarks for the book club, which I don't actually know what's happening with them yet, but when I do, I will let you guys know. And I've also got myself some uh, Pizza Express Dobles and some garlic butter dip. Just as a little bit of a signing snack. Right. Oh, I've still got my smudgy eyes. <laughs> right, oh. right, so. <laughs> Look who's here. Pretty nimble. <laughs> and we were just saying how much I say the word like in my videos. I it's, do it as well, but I, I think you say it a bit more than I it's do. It's like a really, <laughs> Let's have a long conversation okay. and you can't say like. What are you going to do to me every time I say it? Flick me with water? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to flick you with this one. I'm really good in Oh, <laughs> so it's the challenge today, guys. <laughs> do you know what I realised? I tweeted earlier saying, who do you want to see on my channel that's never going to... We've never filmed a main We've channel video. Yeah, no. How Why is that? that? Okay. I'm just going <laughs> to... This is how Naomi drinks water. <laughs> this is actually what my sister was doing today. My she sister's broke. Like... <laughs> she's two, by the way. She's not my age. But she was just having her breakfast with her whole hand in her water the whole time. Oh. And I was like, I was, no. I was told when I was little that if you put someone's hand in water before 
bed, they would wet the bed. I heard that as well. Or when they're sleeping at sleepovers, you have to dip their hand in some water yeah. and then they'll wet themselves right yeah. there and then. And I was also told if I picked dandelions, I would wet the bed. I never heard that one. The buttercup's one of the... Oh yeah, under your chin. You like butter. Yeah. Do you like butter? Yes, I do. <laughs> and then people that didn't like butter. Did I say it then? No, I didn't. Oh, I haven't even been there. <laughs> Hello? Does anyone want to go to the dyke for a roast? And they do a vegan roast as well. Do they? Mm. Amazing. Have you been to the dyke for food? No. It's unbelievable. Okay. All right, bye. So, what did you do last night? Last night we made a den and we watched a film and it was really nice and we had lots of snacks. <laughs> oh, no, no, I'm talking funny. So last night we uh, made a den and we made snacks. <laughs> oh my god, I so nearly said that. I was gonna say it's it's as if. What can I say instead? It's almost as if. <laughs> yeah. It's almost as if. What do you I say instead of it though? I don't Wait. know. You just don't have to have that word in but the then, sentence. But then, but then you can't say it's almost. What? I had food around. You know when you say it's almost like? Yeah, okay. Is that allowed? Yeah, I that think that's allowed. allowed. That's, that's allowed. allowed. It's just like as in the pause, as in like. That. <laughs> like that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, is this the thing? Is this every time you say it? Right, are we having a water? Are, are we having a water what? fight? <laughs> <laughs> just said she's never been driven by yeah, Alfie before. I'm so excited. Oh. Are you? <laughs> I don't careful. know whether to be really nervous right now. I'd be really well, scared if I was you. <laughs> I mean, if we get there in one piece, it'll be a miracle. <laughs> I'm joking. Like you're on the corner. <laughs> yeah, literally. Yeah. Well, I don't like really know Google how anyway. hungry we are. I'm not massively hungry. I'm gonna say, and he ate a couple of hours ago. <laughs> <laughs> I ate as you when you were here. Yeah, I was still eating my lasagna. Just eating five minutes ago. Oh, it's very bright, isn't it? It's such a nice day. It is really nice, and it's going to be really rainy tomorrow. And we're with Pop and Sean now. What are you doing? I'm doing a little blog post. I'm late. <laughs> you are, you're two hours late. To be fair, I still need to film my video that I was supposed <laughs> to film today. I just haven't really stopped, and then when I got back, I was signing. This week's been crazy. It really has. Next week, I feel like, is a little bit more chilled. I'm going to see Tanya and Jim, which will be fun. We've got a really fun day planned on Tuesday. You excited about that? Mark's coming as well. I'm terrified about that. I know. So that's exciting. Oh no, I've got a really big spot on my chin. I really like your pretty bras. Where are you? Where oh, did we? I've you. seen Estee wearing one like that. So, where are they from? Um, I got this from Asa. Oh really? Yeah. I love it. It's really comfortable. Everyone's wearing oh, really? cool bras. Wait, is it the yeah, Oh my god, yeah. Okay. Yes, I am it's so like left out. Sort of I need yeah. to get this bra. It's, it's, it's like a mesh, but it's the same oh, thing. They're so comfy. They are oh. so comfy. I don't need to do any bra shopping, but I can't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can never have too many bras. Exactly. Exactly. Are so you know really more pretty. of like a comfy bra or a pretty bra? Pretty. Mm. Pretty yeah, bra. Pretty. But when they're both. I I see, both. my problem is I think I've got too comfortable with Alfie and now all my bras are like, Stop. look at this, look how manky this one is. <laughs> oh no, but they're good for when you're yeah, um, wearing bras. white. Yeah, I've got so many nude colored t-shirt bras, you can never go wrong. I only bought a nude bra when I was 23. Really? Up they're until that point. Aren't they? Yeah, because you can wear them with everything. Yeah. And so when you wear a white t-shirt, I used to always wear a white, a white bra. bra. No, it's awful about the nude. Do you know, sometimes I actually think a black bra over a white t-shirt is better. Better than a because white bra. white just stands just out. Just see it so much. Bra <laughs> chat. <laughs> no, it doesn't. And also, no one told me that a nude bra, I used to think nude bras are really uncool. I was like, oh no, I don't want a nude bra. Yeah. They're like changing. Everyone needs a nude bra. If you haven't got one, you need to buy I've one. I've got right so now. many new, really lovely, like lacy, pretty sets. Yeah. 
just oh for me. Like, just why not? See, this is the thing is, I want to be able to open my underwear drawer and just go, oh my god, they're, they're so, so pretty. pretty. But at when the moment, so I'm like, like, I want to see. I'm like, where's my, where's my skanky nude bra I've had for yeah. two years? <laughs> my everyday bra is just like a plain nude bra. I need to get a new one, so I only have a couple and they just. I'm gonna do a pretty bra <laughs> ASOS shop after this. Yeah. Really and then do a bra haul. Yeah. <laughs> Has anyone done a bra haul where they've tried them on? <laughs> Try on bra haul. <laughs> that would get a lot of views, wouldn't it? <laughs> And um, we've just opened Source Box with Naomi, which was yeah. quite fun actually because Bye, Naomi, Naomi knows more about it than we do. Um, and we're doing some face swaps, and they are honestly the most disturbing thing because Alfie's face on anyone else is oh, horrific. Thank you. I'm sorry, Alf, but it's true. Weird with my face. Oh my oh. god! <laughs> Wrong Weasley! <laughs> I've been so bad at ending my vlogs recently. It gets to the evening and I'm just like, oh. I said like then. Gets to the evening and I'm. See, how would you say that sentence without putting like in it? It gets to the evening and I'm so tired. <laughs> it was so nice, um, like spontaneously spending the evening with Naomi. I really love when things like that happen when you don't necessarily really plan it and it just happens and you have a really great time. It was so nice to catch up with her. Oh, I just like miss her so much. Guys, I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm getting a lot better at yawning, not yawning. I'm getting a lot better at being spontaneous. It's just one of those things that for so long, if someone said let's go and do this it felt like a more safe option to say no which I know for so long I was like just say yes if you don't say yes to things then you're never going to experience life and you never know what could come from it and grab every opportunity with both hands and and I think somewhere along the line I started going back inside this like safety blanket of saying no to things and being like no I think I'm gonna stay here no I think I'm gonna do this and I think one of the reasons that I've been vlogging so much more recently is because I have been saying yes to doing more and I have been choosing to be a bit more spontaneous and to kind of go with the flow a bit more which if any of you have anxiety I guess everyone's anxieties are different but I find things like that quite difficult and I get really set in my ways and I don't know I'm such a homebody anyway like I love being at home so the fact that I'm starting to like do a little bit more and just kind of go with the flow means that I'm having more fun and it's really nice to be reminded of that like this is exactly why in 2013 I said yes to everything and I was so confident and I didn't really have many cares about anything and as I said somewhere along the way I seem to have kind of stopped doing that so I wasn't actually really ever going to say anything in the vlogs but so many of you have been giving me such lovely like feedback on Twitter and on Instagram and to be, to be honest I don't really look at the comments on Instagram because they're all spam and people saying they've got my mobile number when they actually haven't <laughs> but on twitter and on my youtube videos and where else that's the main ones that i read to be honest you've all noticed how much happier i am i guess and just i don't know i just i feel like i'm happier in in myself and I feel more confident and I just feel like I'm t 
turning a corner with it and I think a lot of you have noticed that and that makes me even more happy because obviously I'm doing it for myself there's no other reason why I would be doing this it's literally for myself and for my happiness and you guys just happen to come along with me because I have my camera but it's really encouraging that you all notice it and you all kind of appreciate where I've kind of pushed myself a bit more or I don't know it just feels like you're all on my side and there's nothing better than struggling with something for so long and finally kind of achieving it and being really proud of yourself than to have lots of other people who are also really proud of you. Thank you so much for any of you that have been leaving me lovely comments. I don't know how this has turned into like a ramble about happiness and vlogging but I don't know it's the little things isn't it? To a lot of you you could be like all right mate like you only got invited out for a roast but it's and it's really hard for me to explain but I think if you've watched me for a while then you will notice the changes that I go through like there are months when I'm really struggling and there are months when I'm feeling quite down about stuff and then there are months where I sort of think no screw this and I go out and I try and do more things and I really push myself and it's also very interesting for me to watch back in the vlogs because I know how I felt in those vlogs anyway when I filmed them and uploaded them put them up but it's a whole other thing to look back at them and see the vlogs I'm posting right now and then the vlogs that I was posting like a year ago. I don't know. Because we're always growing and changing as people. It's so funny, one of the main things people say on YouTube about YouTubers is you've changed. And it's always said with such a negative connotation. But actually, I'd like to think I've changed since I started YouTube, which was seven years ago and I think people are always changing and growing and adapting to everything around them to s scenarios situations you know that's part of growing up is change and we don't all like it but that's just what happens people have to change you can't stay the same forever um, if I was still the same as I was when I was 19 and I was filming videos you would be having videos of me talking over a song in the background I would be shy I would I don't know like and I love seeing how much I've changed I think it's a great thing la, 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 la. <laughs> I didn't manage to film my main channel video today see six months ago that I would have really worried about that I would have been like everyone's gonna have a massive go at me no one's gonna understand and I need to I need to not see Naomi and I need to not go for a roast and I need to do this but I think I've got a bit better at putting myself first and I still filmed it because you guys still came with me with this camera um but I'm just gonna film my main channel video tomorrow instead and I'll try and film and edit all in the same day except I do have quite a jam-packed day so I can't promise anything see I don't really think you guys are like the ones that put pressure on me I think it's me that puts pressure on me ideally I think maybe I could skip this week you know I don't want to rush a video even though I love filming Q&A's but I can't miss a week I can't do it I'm like super self-conscious of these spots a bit rubbish but we've all got them so I don't feel so bad <laughs> actually we don't all have them some people have lovely skin but it's so frustrating because I think my diet right now even though a lot of you think all I eat is pizza which I don't always eat but I eat it quite a lot my diet now as a 26 year old is probably the best it's ever been I used to eat so bad when I was younger like like you wouldn't believe how bad I used to eat and my skin was clear and now I'm 26 I feel like my mum had spots when she was in her 20s. I don't know. They're all... I've spoken to people before and they've said they're all hormonal because they're all round here. Mostly on my chin. But why are my hormones so raging? It's not good, is it? <laughs> Enough about me spots. I'm going to go to sleep now. I love you all very much. And thank you for always being the best, most supportive viewers in the world. I'm very happy that I get to share this with you. Bye.